Okay, now I want to do is the metal. So I'm going to drag some metal in here again. Just grab, uh, let's grab this metal here. Open it up. And I'm just going to take a chunk. Paste. Control T. Rotate this 90 degrees. And let me shrink it. Scale. I'm holding down Shift so I can get all the texture information I can. And maybe a little bit more. Control J. Is it duplicating? And just move it down. Maybe rotate it to the other side. Let's save this and let's look at Maya for it, see how it looks like so far. I am going to assign, right click, assign a material. I am going to use a blend because I do want highlight information. So blend. Let's go to my barrel blend. Click on my color. Go to file. Click on the little folder. Notice that it automatically goes to source images. My file's actually in images, but I do want to take note that it does put it there. So I want to make sure that my final image is going to be in source images. Open it up, press the number six. All right, there you go. So far, so good. I'm going to grab this guy, bring it at the bottom. Whoa, same thing for this guy here. Okay, I'm going to grab these and just do a control E to actually flatten them all into one layer. And now I'm ready to uh, kind of make these, the metal, a little bit more unique. Here's another metal. I'm going to bring it in. Actually, just want a portion of it. That. Paste. Rotate. And what I want is just to affect the, um, the metal below it. To do that, I'm just going to use a clipping mask. I'm going to right click and then go to create clipping mask. So it doesn't affect the whole image, it just affects the, um, the textures below it. So now I get to say screen and then try different types of textures and see which one's the one that I like the most. So this is what it looked like before, this is what it looks like now. And this is with opacity, so I'm going to reduce it. Okay. I'm going to duplicate this clipping mask and I'm also going to drag it to the other side. And finally some rust. We definitely want it to look rusty. Take a bigger chunk. Copy, paste, rotate. Okay, some cool looking rust. I'm going to show you a fun trick. Uh, let's say I want to use some of that rust. So this is a black and white image and I'm going to grab this portion here. I'm going to grab this rusty layer. Down here at the bottom there's a mask. You want to click on that. Here's the active layer. So you want to turn on your layer and now anything red you're going to be able to see so if I turn it off like so, you can see that the rust actually affects the rest, so you only get to see the mast. Right, so remember that black you can see, white you can't see. So I can grab this and just kind of drag it. So what I'm trying to do is just get the rust to actually be a little bit more noticeable. And there you go. Now I have rust on top of my metal, but I also only want it to affect my metal. So again, right click and this is going to create a clipping mask. So now the rust only affects the metal. And then if I want, I can darken it. Ooh, that's, And you can try different modes if you want to and see which one you like the most. I think I like overlays nice. Let's go ahead and duplicate this and then move it to the other side so we get a similar rusty effect. Okay. So let's save that. Let's go back into Maya and let's see what it looks like so far. Reload, there you go. Okay, now I'm gonna give some streaks real quick and then after that we'll start working on bump map. So streaks, go back here. I have a drip map, I'm gonna bring it in here. I'm gonna copy this and paste it. It's huge, that's okay. We're gonna, I'd rather have it to be large. Oop, where are you going? I'm just gonna go ahead and change it to 90 degrees. Press enter twice and let's scale it. This is going to be a drip. So I'm going to click on this and just bring it underneath the metal like so. And then I'm going to go to multiply. All right. And then reduce the opacity. Actually, I think I'm going to go to my levels. So let's go to image adjustment levels 
and let's go ahead and there we go let's increase the contrast here there's the streaks all right cool i'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit and duplicate it and bring it down there we go Control e so the drip is noticeable well, at least i'll recognize it more b and just kind of move that drip a little bit here this way duplicate it again so it's down here grab the original drip and just make it slightly bigger there you go let's save that let's go back to maya okay much better okay so the barrel's coming along we're still missing some uh, lines so let's we're still missing some uh, lines so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and grab all of this metal and just put it in a group and i'm going to call this metal okay so i want to get these lines for my barrel you might recognize this from a previous exercise and uh, i'm going to duplicate it and drag it down Control e we could try different types of modes and see if there was anything that we actually like about this texture. So if I want to, I can actually drag it down to the bottom so it gets affected. Uh, multiply may be a good one. Whew, look at all these modes. But what I really want is just like the lines themselves. So I'm going to actually go to select color range. And what I want is actually the dark areas. I can actually tell it how picky it should the dark lines, the colors be, and then click OK. It's actually going to select those lines, and then I'm going to do a Control J, and then bring everything back. And maybe just go back to my layer that actually has the lines on it, and just grab the erase brush and just kind of erase some of these extra things that it produced. And let's save and let's see what it looks like in Maya. Okay, so it's there. It's just they're really, really big planks. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pause the video. Just go ahead and add a little bit more planks. And the next part is going to be to create a bump map. So I will be right back.